Hey guys, how you doing? Mike Tannic back here with more Hearts of Iron 4, La Resistance, where we are playing as the Republic of China. Now, guys, I thought about changing the thumbnail for the new flag that we have, but um, I didn't want anybody to think like all of a sudden I'd switch series or, uh, you know, it wasn't the same series. So I'm going to leave it like that as it is. Uh, someone DM me on Twitter and asked me why haven't I changed the flag over yet, and that's the answer. I just want some uniformity in uh, the videos just to make sure that, you know, everything's kosher. I could put like half and half now, but now that's that's weird. So uh, anyway, yeah, somebody also DM me on Twitter and asked me why I'm always wearing a stupid hat like this. Well, let me show you why. Quarantine hair, that's why. So there, you're just gonna have to deal with it. I'm not going on camera with quarantine hair, even though I just did, so. Uh, anyway, back to this. Uh, we are at a very exciting part in the campaign right now. Uh, what we do kind of have here is a pocket of German troops, which I am attempting to encircle. So I'll show you what I've done. Since we have so many armies standing around doing nothing, and our armies that are already here overextended, I have brought the Red Army, our Quick Reaction Force. I should rename that. Uh, it is... 22 infantry, 2 mountain divisions. Uh, they're going to come man this southern part so we can pull the, I guess, orange army. You could call it the orange army up. And up in the very top north, we're bringing in the eastern army in order to relieve the yellow army here, which is the western army. And we can bring them down to more effectively man the front here. It seems that we have, for the most part, uh, fixed our supply problems through building up infrastructure. Uh, thank God for that. Uh, because it was kind of killing us and i'll show you we're still gonna keep building the infrastructure uh, along the supply lines as you can see all these provinces you know here 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 everywhere along the supply chain because uh, if you look we're doing okay but just barely on supply so we are going to have to really up this because we are bringing in a lot more divisions and it's going to be a problem uh, as we go further west though uh, into Russia's more developed areas we are going to hopefully see that resolved. Um, now our field marshal here is due for an upgrade which I like. He is level 6 now and this guy is actually just a beast. I mean he's got great stats. So what we're going to do is this one here, logistics wizard which uh, reduces supply consumption by 15%. Not a small that's no small apples there. Okay, so we got Logistics Wizard. And make sure all the armies over here are under his command. Yes, they are. Okay, so they will all get that bonus. Uh, next, we have like two full stack armies gathered around this little spot right here that I didn't realize had not been occupied. So we have a division uh, doing that right now. And there's no... Wait, the Quick Reaction Force... Okay, so hopefully they don't get pulled back. Because uh, they, they were technically assigned there. Uh, yep, okay, so here we go. I want to make sure I get this right. So let me go ahead and do this. I'll pull this up. Alright. Um, yep, okay. Now we should be able to do that. Okay, boom, done. And let's go ahead and advance here while we can, and hopefully don't get cut off in the process. Uh, so let's go actually this way and widen up the front to make sure that doesn't happen with these tanks here. Alright. Ah, shoot, I wanted to cut that division off. So we're not going to press here anymore, uh, because I want to do a rather large encirclement, uh, starting with, um, well, in the south we're going to have our armored task force kind of punch through at least to the mountains and then try to circle northwards because they're going to be useless in the mountains and yeah this is all forest here but that's okay too um we'll survive it so let's have a look at our air situation guys i am moving up aircraft i have some aircraft on the way here to omsk because it can now hold a uh, thousand planes so i'm getting some uh Ground support and air superiority because the Germans don't seem to have any interest in fighting us in the air over here. I'm guessing they're really focusing on the west and south, uh, trying to keep the Russians from advancing anymore. Uh, yeah, it looks like 
for the most part, it's the Russians who are doing the attacking. You can kind of tell from where the bubbles are located. But we do have uh, strategic bombers coming over here, guys. Now, what I would like to do, they have Leningrad here, which is an industrial rich city. It's very rich. So we are going to nuke it. And hopefully that's going to... That's going to cause some problems, so let's go ahead and do that since we do have strategic bombers in range. Let's make sure we watch. And kaboomy. <laughs> oh, that would be a good thumbnail right here. Okay. Alright, so that should chip away somewhat at the German uh, industrial capacity. Now, the other concern, guys, we have is Tibet. We have to act on this war goal, otherwise, you know, we do get... All the problems that go along with it so i would like to act on that but the problem here guys is that there's a good chance once we declare that they are going to join the allies so i've thought about it and rather than start my own faction again just yet i'm going to join the allies temporarily i'm going to ask to join and then we will leave i know there's probably going to be a we can't just jump in and jump out there's gonna we're gonna have to spend some time there but we're gonna do that just to protect us from there we go protect us from triggering with the allies yet the allies they're gonna get dealt with so what i've done here is uh i'm actually bringing in the airborne army to get this general some more experience and they are on the way cause, what is he uh no sorry uh he's level one still i believe there we are yeah, he's level one, about to be level two. I would like to get his experience up and maybe some more experience for our airborne. Uh, and the other problem with that is, guys, I haven't been using field hospitals. I haven't researched them. That's why a good reason why a lot of our divisions just aren't above level three. That should be level five by now. Uh, because the field hospitals provide trickle back and it stops you from losing experience with casualties. So, uh, what other issues have we... Yeah, occupation, guys, pretty much across the board, I've done local police force where we needed to. Uh, any place where the resistance is 10% higher than the compliance, I've done that. So, so here we go. Let's go ahead and let these armies get into position. Alright, national focus cancelled. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Didn't think of that. Didn't think of that. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. We got this. Huh. Conquer Tibet. Let's see. Indian cooperation. Of course, anti okay, we can't go that route. Dominate Japan. Well, Japan is gone, so I don't know why that's even still an option. Uh, let's go ahead and... Ooh, yeah, we could actually uh, work with the United States, which is really going to help our Navy. Yeah, I think that is a good idea. Let's start it. Because we are pouring so much tech into Navy. Uh, at least we were. We had at one point, like, I think three or four techs going only into Navy to catch us up. So that is a good thing. All right, our spies are ready to launch make resistance contacts within the German Reich. That's going to help uh, start our... Wait a minute. Why can you not go? Okay, yeah, let's do it in actually over here. I think that will help us the most. Because we're going to get Russian resistance. They're already resisting uh, the Germans. And when we roll in, we're not going to be much better than the Russians, because we are evil, bad people. Okay, let's take uh, Chelyabinsk. Okay, he already is, so let's hold them down. Alright, I like this. This is good. This is good. Come on, Red Army, where are you? Alright, and all of these guys want to join war... Okay. Sure, man. Yeah, you can get in on this. I thought they were already fighting. Maybe they weren't. Okay. 
wants to help in our war. Mongolia, Georgian... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, this is against the uh, Russian countries and former satellite countries. So they want to help fight them too. All right, that's... Please. Okay, what units do I have ready for deployment? Oh, no location set for our modern tanks. That is a problem. Okay, let's have them set right up here. There we go. And we did gain two military factories, so what are we hurting on? Not much, actually. Equipment-wise, guys, we're in pretty good shape. Oh, we're not going to do the medium tanks. Close air support, strategic bombers, no. Actually, we could use some more anti-tank. Artillery, we're just stocked, man. We're just stocked. I'm happy to see that. Okay, let's do it into tactical bombers. And guys, we have so much air experience here. I would like to upgrade uh, some of our aircraft. Uh, probably, hmm, probably our fighters. What are we researching now? I don't want to research... I don't want to sink our experience into something we're about to replace. So the Camco 70, uh, Type 24. So Okay, we won't do it into close air support since we are about to have uh, the next round of that. Or at least we're 30% done. So we won't do that. What we will do... Transport planes, do we still need those? Not really. Yeah, not really, but uh, we'll keep building them. Because we are still bu building airborne units and we have 10 divisions worth. Okay, yeah. Sink the other factory in there. Okay, let's do... I'm feeling fighters. No, tactical bombers. That's, that's right. Okay. So the Type 40... Uh, yeah, this one has not been modified yet. All right. Let's see. Type 40 tack bomber. Okay, let's do definitely range. We'll do two in a range. That'll give them plus 500 kilometers. That's good. Uh, plus two reliability to n negate that. Uh, engine. Engine. Much better max speed. Kind of a better max speed. Better agility, which really helps. And better bombing. And we'll do one more into reliability. To keep our reliability good. Uh, ground attack. Alright, it's slightly better, but I definitely what I want is the max speed and agility and the range. Those are the three ones that I want the most. So let's go ahead and build that. Uh, type 40A, where are you? Here we go. Let's go ahead and do that. And what can we take away from? I mean, at this point, we have 1,000 naval bombers in reserve. That'll be useful against the Allies later, should we choose to go that route. Actually, no. Yeah, okay, that's right. And we'll take... Uh, let's see, let's see. Yeah, I'll take one away from armored cars and put that into the tactical bombers, which it went. Okay. Should probably do one more if we can. Okay, yeah, we can take one away from artillery and put that into tactical bombers. Okay, that should get our fleet, or I'm sorry, all of our aircraft upgraded. Okay, we did this. There we go. Okay. And we got these two tank divisions, two fully stacked modern tank divisions. Uh, let's see. And yes, these do have the modern tank destroyers. Beautiful. Uh, let's get you into the armored task force. And get you headed up there, if you would, please. Francis Cope. Okay, so they're all jumping in on my war. I, I don't care, guys. That's fine by me. Belgium is joining. Okay, man. Yeah, all the allies are joining. I get it. Okay, all, are all you guys on the rail? And What's taking so long? Come on. Get up there. It's time to push. Time to push. Alright, no, stop, stop, stop. Yeah, you're gonna get counterattacked. You see what you did? You see what you did? Okay, yeah. Chelly Binks. Binks. 
Binsk. Binsk. Say Binsk. Chelyabinsk. Uh, that's probably where we got our factories from, which is excellent. All right. How do we do over here? Oh, wow. Wow. How's that for a fleet? And we only took out all of that for uh, one poor convoy. I'm sure they were evaporated. And how'd we do here? Yep, another convoy. I think that's uh, Legionary Romania. Uh, we did take... Oh, wow, six dockyards. So what does that mean? That means we finished something. Yeah, we did. We must have finished something. Probably a destroyer, I think. Yeah, we were building a destroyer. Let me see. Who's brand new here? Okay, there's a sub, but we didn't stop building that. Uh, light cruiser, destroyer. Yeah, I'm guessing this is it. Okay, let's actually upgrade all of these to 1945. Yeah, this is the, the one I produced off camera. Uh, hang on. Why are you not doing what I tell you to do? Are you going? Okay, well, oh, well, I actually have to pick it. That's why, Mike. <laughs> I'm such a dumb sometimes. Oh, I hate myself. 1945. Yep. That has the newer hole. Guys, that's why I'm doing that. Uh, let's see, though. What should we be producing? We could be producing a light cruiser, I believe. No, we still can't do that. Uh, I have to redesign our some of these cruisers here to be able to uh, produce those. That's what the problem here is. Uh, let's go ahead. I want to build a carrier. But I don't think... Oh, yeah, we're going to need some more naval experience. Okay. I want to do hangar space. So we'll start to put these together slowly. Oh, deck space. Yep, yep, yep. Deck armor. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do this. Okay. Yeah, it's just going to take a little more experience than what we have. That is really too bad. So, in the meantime, let's go and produce... we got the early cruiser hull. We want to build some of the witch destroyers. Were it. Were it. It's anti-submarine. Uh, destroyer hull A. Yep, this one. Okay, and we'll put all of them into that, but we will be upgrading. I think it's time for us to upgrade. Whatever we can here. Okay. Yeah, none of these. Oh, wait. Some of them can. So do you. Is that just the one? Okay. Yeah, we can only upgrade just the one, it appears. Oops. Nope. 1945. There. Yeah, cancel the prayer task. You guys are fine. You don't need that. Okay. God, that was oof, painful enough. So the good thing here, guys, is we can actually see what's happening on the Western Front. And for the Germans, it is not good. It is really not good. But it's going to be worse for him over here. I'll tell you that right now. Okay, and we don't... Oh, I need to get a planning bonus going for the Purple Army. Oop. There we go. Okay, yeah, everybody's jumping in on my war. Okay. Alright, so let's start to pull the Yellow Army back since there are no German divisions up here. Uh, yep, top one. Right, we'll pull you back to here. That'll work. And let's see, is the Red Army making an appearance yet? 
Almost. Okay, I'm going to let them get in a position... Yeah, before we actually do anything here, because I really desperately want to shorten up this line. And the armor task force should not be all the way up here. I want them to be part of the breakthrough. So let me go ahead, or the southern breakthrough, the southern part of the pincer, I should say. What the hell? And there's not that many of them, so they'll be crowded down here with the red army. Okay, red army is in position, so let's bring the orange army back to here. And I'm probably going to have to fix these borders about 5 million more times based on our previous experiences here. Alright, let's let everybody get into position. And the tanks, you do have a planning bonus, yes? Okay. Yeah, I do want to punch through, and if possible, uh, we could actually continue the pincer movement and then hook south and capture some German divisions there between us and the Russians, who we will have to then fight. So, actually, I'd rather just let the Germans fight the Russians right now. That makes our job easy. Okay, we do have 160 political power. What do we want to do with this? I thought we had a tank designer. Oh, that's right, we can't. We can't because we're on the outs with the Germans, so... Let's see. Capital ship. Heavy attack, minus 10. Deck size, minus 10. Hmm, that could be interesting. Uh, division attrition. Um, recovery rate. Who else do we have? We have an air superiority genius. Uh, no. We're fine on air superiority. We have so many goddamn fighters. Our problem is being able to deploy all of them. Uh, army defense genius. Okay, now we're on the offense, so let's go ahead and do this. We will switch it. Uh, I forgot that we had this guy. Uh, who else? Organization. Speed. Speed would actually be really nice. Considering we are moving through the Russian steppe, but... Let's go ahead and do offense because we're now fighting the Germans. And their divisions are quite a bit more prepared. Chinese, Korea, yeah, okay. Fine. Yep. Fine. Ireland. Everybody jump in. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually move uh, one of these armies. Let's take the Grey Army and get them up here just ready to go because this front will widen up once we get uh, start the pincher movement, and I probably am going to want to fill in the gaps. So, let's get uh, all of them. Get you moving up here, but I want to keep them out of the supply zone, so we'll move them roughly like right here. At least get them close. Okay, okay, nice. Haiti, thank you. Yeah, you, got, you need to do better than that. You're not going to walk. You're not going to walk. Either are you, or you. You can take the damn rails so we can get this done. Is it being ridiculous? What's going on? Over oh, no wonder. No, that's, where, that's what happened to the Yellow Army. These idiots are walking across Russia. Who walks across Russia? No one. Okay, join Wars Request. Yes. Yes. All right, let's get A Division going up here uh, to take up all this territory. Is that all one? Yep. You come back down up over here. And we'll take you. And you start coming this way. And you go up that way. No, go that way. Okay, that looks good. Uh, let's take two of these divisions. And you guys move up here. Gonna, as long as they're not defending this, we'll just go ahead and try to encircle them. Uh, let's see, who are we sinking? Bad Bads. Alright, excellent. Yeah, our subs are doing pretty dang good for themselves up there. Uh, let's see here. Free Military Factory. Beautiful. And we're about to have one, two, three battleships, guys. In December. Not long. Not long from now. Okay, uh, let's go into... 
No, again, the new tactical bombers. So, anyway, let's check out our air situation here. And, okay, we have room for 200 more planes. But can we build... Well, actually, if we take that airstrip over, we won't need to. But I would like to build, if we may, an airstrip even closer. Like down here. Yeah, that'll do. We'll build it to level 5. Because I want to be able to get strategic bombers in position to hit Germany. As well as some tactical bombers, which Wendy Delise advised me that uh, they are far better on air superiority than... Uh, the strategic bombers because a lot of times if there's enough strategic bombers I kind of leave them to do their own thing because they can defend pretty well And I'm kind of confused because I'm not seeing a single German panzer division here Which I'm not complaining about trust me, but I just don't know where they all are or where they go to All right good so Guys, now that we are part of the Axis, let's go ahead and invade uh, Tibet and get these guys over and done with. And what do we get out of them? What do we get, resource-wise? We'll get some, uh, some tungsten. Barely. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Whatever. You're part of my China, and uh, now you pay the price. Now you pay the price. Declare war. Uh, do we want to puppet them? Sure. Sure, they don't really have much of anything. So I'm going to let you guys do your thing. You're unaggressive. I'm not going to do the walking simulator here, but... Uh, yeah. Alright. And airborne. Airborne, you go as well. Are you going, going aggressive? Alright. Yep. Okay. And boop. Are you guys all moving? Just want to make sure you're all moving before I leave you. Okay, we just beat the hell out of them. What do they have, anyway? Oh, yeah. They just have infantry and engineers. Not good. Not good at all. All right. And, yeah, we are going to have ourselves a real nice pocket here, guys. All right. Let's go. Yeah, we need to actually keep these guys moving. We don't want them to stop. And I'm guessing, yeah, I'm probably going to need a secondary army up here in order to um, to fit this front. So maybe I'll move... Who do we have in reserve here? Who's this? Okay, Dragon Tusk Army. You guys move up here to the north. There we go. Uh, join wars. Oh, you know what? No. Guys, we have enough. We have enough in the party. Don't need you. I uh, got another military factory. Let's put this one into mechanized. I do want to get our mechanized upgraded since we do have plenty of tanks. All right. So let's go ahead and start to move. We got to wait a little bit for the northern pocket to finish what they're doing and get moving. So what we're going to do here. Wait, let's get some strategic bombers here. Uh, not necessarily to bomb strategically, but... Okay. We'll do this. They'll be in range. So what we're going to do is make sure that we get this done. And we have nukes to spare, guys. So we're going to do this. And just because I can, we're going to waste a bomb on a single division. And then, guys, we are going to attack. And really start to cinch this pocket up. There we go. We'll start to move north. We we'll get these divisions on the go. Take uh, Zlaust. Ah, Zlataust. Zlataust. Great place. Love it. Okay. And we'll get these guys moving as well. Uh, actually, you come up here towards Sverd Sverdlotsk. Sverdlotsk. So, okay, here's what we'll do. We'll get the tank division moving there. Hopefully these guys retreat to the north. And we'll support with this division. That should be a win. Uh, because, oh yeah, there's medium tanks just sitting around here. Uh, you support that attack. You come up here. 
And we are going to start to close this enormous pocket. Hopefully. We could use some fast mover divisions up here, guys. In fact, that's what I wanted to design. So let's take a real quick pause. I can't believe I forgot to do that. Um, ooh, King Dao is not protected. That is a problem. And I believe I kind of messed these guys up near Beijing uh, when we got invaded. Or, I'm sorry, Nanjing. No, maybe not. Maybe I did. Oh yeah, here's where it got messed up. Uh, let me make sure this is covered. Tianjin. And one of you has to cover here. I don't know where this guy came from. Oh yeah, I do. Again, not really in danger. Uh, you'll go to Southern Port Defense Command. No, 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 no joining wars. I seriously wish there was like a not going to do it, don't ask, or stop asking option for this. So I don't have to constantly click that. Oh, and look at this. The U.S. has landed nowhere near a port. They are probably going to lose those divisions. Oh, that was fast. Okay. Infantry equipment. A ton. ton of support equipment. Motorized. Advanced anti-tank. Wow, nice. I'm surprised they got that. Uh, 25k fuel. Alright. We want to... Yeah, let's puppet them. Uh, puppet focus. Supervised state. Or do we want to just take it? Do we really want to mess with all this? Uh, hang on, let's pass. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, let's puppet him. Uh, do, do, do. No. Yep, supervised state. There we go. Puppet. Okay. Hey, welcome aboard, guys. Welcome aboard. Okay, I want to get these guys out of here. I'm sure they're suffering attrition from the desert. So let's get them back uh, towards home base. Since we are now safe on our southern border, we don't have to worry about Tibet anymore. Let's get our airborne up here in case we want to do a jumperoo. All right. Wait a minute. Did I move that airstrip up to the top? I hope I did. Okay. Yeah, I did. Chelyabinsk. Chelyabinsk. All right. Yeah, now we're running into uh, some resistance, and that's fine. Uh, actually, since you tanks are sitting still, let's go ahead and circle this division and get them dead. Yeah, we're going to leave these guys here for now because they don't know it yet, but they're going to get so pocketed. Okay, and there's a really weak German Panzer division in the mountains here. Let's go ahead and take them out. And we'll have you attack down that way. Oh, that's not really a win. No, is it? But you're about to have some help, I think. Let's go ahead and see. Come on. Any old minute now. Okay, you stop. That's obviously a loss. These German divisions are tough, guys. They're no joke. No yoking here. Come on. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. I believe in us. Support that attack, please. That is our spearhead. This guy is doing what? Okay, good. Ooh, I want to get these guys on the inside of our pocket. That would be nice. So let's go ahead and push forward a little bit more. No, 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 no. You push forward here and continue on. And then we'll circle wide. We'll go wide. We'll swing wide here. Uh, let's go ahead and destroy this German division. That'll free up some troops. And go ahead and take all this. So now we're going to bring in that extra army since we do have uh, a really wide front here. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, who's in reserve here? 
Okay, the HDF force. Let's go ahead and bring you in to take over some of the Red Army's territory. I know, front management, guys. I know. A lot of fun. Okay, and we'll do this. Ooh. Separate fire mains. Ah, that is fire control stuff. Beautiful. Okay. So I really want to do a lot more naval things. But what we need right now, I want to do the hospitals. And we have a 100% research bonus for 69 days. Too easy. Seven. Where did we get seven military factories from? Man, we're kicking ass. Oh, wait. Hang on. That's not going to work. You are not cutting off my tank division. Oh, probably from uh, Sverdlovsk. All right, let's bring you down. Actually, okay. All right, we'll leave it for now. We'll leave it for now. Wait for our our uh, secondary army to get in a position. Let's go ahead and distribute these. And what do we want that we don't have? I mean, what can we build? All right. We could build a basic amphibious tank. Yeah, nothing really here that I want to build. So let's go ahead and build, or keep building on what we already have. And why is this none? Oh, I know, we have so many ships upgrading. In fact, let's, let's up this so we can hurry up and get it done. Do 40. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous, I know, but we need it. We need to get them upgraded. That is important to me. Okay, let's do two more into tactical bombers. Uh, two more into mechanized. We got three left. Uh, we are going to need more armored cars, seriously, for all the territory we're occupying. And let's go ahead and do the modern tank upgrades as well. There we go. Yeah, everything else looks pretty kosher. I would like to do this a little bit more, but we are making 24, about 25 a day, so big whoop. All right. All right, and did we win there? We did. Okay, let's make sure that this guy stays in the pocket. And now that we are pretty spread out, let's go ahead and get the Dragon Tusk Army in here as well. And what they're going to do is handle this section right here, and I will let uh, the Purple Army swing wide. That's what we're going to do, so let's give them a front line. I'll start it here. I'll go like that. Also give them... A planning bonus. So I should just do like the army group planning bonus, but I I don't know. I just don't like it. I don't like it. I like to have each individual army doing their own thing because I am a control freak. Alright, how are we doing here, guys? Did we get freed up? We did. Okay. Uh, how's that gray army coming? Alright. Come on, tanks. Come on. Swing. So we could get a we could get ourselves a little bag here. This would be nice. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Get you up here to the river. All right. That's gonna be a rough attack, but they are very weak. So, excellent guys. We got rocket engines that allows us to do the uh, guided missiles. We could build those emplacements now. I would like that. Let's do jet engines. Very important. All right. Do these guys have air support? Not really. Could they? Yes, they could. Let's move these guys up. And do this. Yeah, give them support there. Because that's where we're going to need it if we're going to get this bag done. Come on. Beat him. Okay, we're not going to win there. Uh, let's see. There we go. Yep, that's a win. Alright, we got to start to close the hooks here, guys. Alright, good. 
And you keep going on. Oh, you bastards. You absolute bastards. I thought I told you to take the train. You're not walking across goddamn Siberia. Actually, get the uh, train right up here. Right up to the front. Okay, the Great Army is in position, so let's go ahead and pull back the Red Army here. Nope. Oh, get it. I'm on. There we go. No. Not what I said. There we go. Let's pull them back to, like, here. Yeah, wherever the Grey Army ends. There we go. Much better. Fill in these gaps. Get this thing done. Come on. Come on. Uh, you support... Oh, you can't support that attack. Mechanized wave. Beautiful. And what does that do for us? Uh, tanks. Okay, that's for our organization and recovery rates. That is that is great. That is absolutely great. Uh, more land auction, please. We have a hundred percent bonus. Oh no, we don't. We could spend some uh, army experience, which I don't know if we want to do just yet. Let's go ahead and build those uh, fast-moving mechanized divisions that we should have had a long time ago. So let's do this. We'll edit it, uh, duplicate it, change this to. Where's, uh, hang on. Mobile. There we go. Mechanized. What is their speed? 10 kilometers per hour. Not bad. Okay, mobile battalions. It would be nice to sneak some armor into them, but that's not going to be their primary. It's not going to be their primary role. Oops. Mechanized, mechanized. So we'll do uh, 20 width divisions here. There we go. We'll do the standard 7 infantry, uh, 2 armored, mobile, motorized artillery. Motorized artillery. Actually, you know what would be good is some anti-tank as well for heart attack. But let's just do that in the form of support battalions. So, yeah, they're going to need support anti-tank for sure. Uh, logistics. Maintenance. And definitely some anti-air. Okay, so, yeah, max speed 10 kilometers an hour. I, not the fastest, but uh, I want them well protected as well. So, we're going to build uh, the mechanized... I don't like the... It's not mechanized infantry template one. Infantry. There we go. I really wish I had come up with some more like unique Chinese sounding names or actual Chinese names for this, but I did not. There we go. Train two of them. Still got military factories. Wow. And for that, let's go ahead and, since we are building a lot more mechanized now, uh, let's go ahead and put it into here. We have a lot of broken factories, guys, from resistance, but it should be settling down. Okay, here we have still in civilian oversight goods. Our compliance is growing, and it will soon outpace uh, the resistance, so that's fine. Or is it? All right, elsewhere, let's see, what are we doing here? Uh, Kanto, 31% to 34%. All right. And it looks like we are slowly gaining control since we've moved most of these over to uh, local police force. But not all of them. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Okay, this we can switch back to civilian oversight. Uh, yeesh, ugh. Not sure about that one. Okay. The rest look decent enough. Okay. Yep, we're good. And still sinking Germans. Love it. All 
Alright. Yep, let's move up. Keep moving up. Let's widen up this front. Okay, he's leaving. Actually, that's a really bad attack, but let's go ahead and support it here. Yay! Early... Okay, 1940 heavy ship hull. That is our cruiser, I believe. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. So, where does that leave us? Um... Could do the 1944 heavy ship, 1944 cruiser. Hmm. What does this do? Depth charge mortar. Anti-submarine mortar. That would be nice. We're not even building a carrier yet, unfortunately. Uh, improved submarine snorkel. That would be nice. We do have a lot of... Uh, submarines out there. Armor capped. Easy. Oh, yeah. This is the one I wanted to finish off. Because this doesn't take all that long. So, research this. It does take a while. 147 days is not a short time. But it is worth it. And how is our Navy doing? Are they upgraded yet? Oops. Okay. What do you have? You're still the level one heavy cruiser. We ooh design. We need to get you up to the nineteen forty level at least. And how much experience do we have here? To another medium battery, I think we can get away with that. The heavy cruiser battery. Uh, probably do it again up here. And we can... That's it. That's going to be it. Save. And let's go ahead and upgrade you... To this one? Yeah, that one. And, oh boy... Why can't we? Why? Why can't we? Yeah, we should do that. Update. Same goes for all of these. Can we? Alright, you guys go repair. I'm going to try to update the holes on these. Because that... Oh, wait. No, no, no. That one already has the level 3. Man, these guys just sink all kinds of goodness. I love it. Okay, yep. You're, you're kosher. What about you? Okay. Yep, you're all kosher. Good. Just got to get you upgraded. Cruiser hole F. Sign. Okay. Damn, we need more Navy experience. But there's just simply not a whole lot to do as far as Navy experience goes. Um, we should start a new fleet. Uh, this is a nice doom stack and all, but uh, let's see. All right, yeah, let's get these guys out to where they need to be. Another submarine, beautiful. Get them over and working. The rest are training. All right, let's go. Let's get this encirclement done, guys. Let's get it done. Okay, you are going. Good. Uh, you should be actually going up this way because the purple army needs to disperse up this direction. Let's go ahead and push you off those mountains if we can. And get you some support from that division. That'll be a win. Okay, you guys need to get up here. Like, up here, up here. And then attack. Okay, so at least those guys are moving. They are getting into position. This is kind of messy. This is getting a little messy, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. 
Cut these two divisions off. And that'll be a nice, a nice bag. Uh, I don't like this. Let's try to widen this front up a bit. Yeah, I don't like what you're doing. Oh, but you're, you're actually going to cut him off, so let's do this so we don't get cut off instead. And how close are you? Okay. All right, Blue Army. You guys are doing okay-ish. Let's get one of you to move up. All right, yeah, we're going to get this bag, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and take this territory since they're not protecting it. Any other territories? Yeah, there's a couple they're not protecting. Let's just go ahead and scoop them up while we can. I think they're trying to escape the bag, guys. I think I know what they're doing, and it's not going to work. Okay, we got these guys cut off entirely. Let's get our mountain division in there to lead the attack. And this division as well. And that's two German divisions off the map. Excellent. Yeah, we need to seriously start to concentrate our forces up here. Oh, God, yeah, this is such an ugly mess. Ugly mess. Um, can we attack here? I want to get this bagged up. That would be nice. All right, order destroyers. 100% research model for destroyer models. I, we're already maxed out on that, but we had to do it anyway. Uh, light cruiser. Let's go ahead, do that. And let's go ahead and assign these factories, guys. And that's going to be the episode, because I am out of time. Unfortunately, there we go. But uh, we are making good progress. This is going to be a nice big bag of German troops, and that'll probably be it for them. And of course, we do have the nukes to help get our point across and, and get this done, if need be. I'm going to try to avoid that and just do it conventionally, but uh, we are getting help from the U.S. We, we're just doing good. We're doing good, guys. German days are numbered. Let's have a look at the casualties real quick. 10.54 million and we've done 385,000 of that. And we, let's see, where are we? Republic of China. We still only have 270,000 casualties total, which is why we're still on volunteer and our manpower is at 3.79 million. That's with garrisons. So this, again, might be the very first playthrough I do where I don't have to change manpower laws. And I would be really happy with that. So... Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, please do consider leaving a like. It's free, and it does help the channel, and I really do appreciate it. It helps the channel more than you know. Um, and if you have not yet subscribed, please be, please do so, uh, because there's plenty more to come after this. I love you guys. I will see you in the next episode. Later on.